Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is time again for DAX Fridays. And uh, we're not going to look into a function today, we are actually going to look into an issue. And this is a question I've got, why do we get wrong grand totals? And I did that, I got that in one of my videos and I didn't explain it, so I think uh, it is time to do it. Make sure you don't miss this video because it's going to give you another piece of the DAX puzzle that we are all trying to solve, okay? So this is a, this is a good learning video, I think. Perhaps it's bad that I say it, but I, I really think it is. So without any more delays, let's, let's look at this. Okay, so this question came from Mark. Thank you, Mark. And he was asking why does the total for stock show the correct result, but amount shows 237. And this is on the video I did the how to, where I explain how to build relationships where tables had duplicate values, both tables, okay? And it is true, actually, uh, there is, at the end of the video, it was really nice that he sent me a link to it, because it just makes everything so much easier, I don't have to search for it. So if you're asking me questions, make sure that you do these two, it's like super nice. So by clicking on it, I just go exactly to where in the video um, he was experiencing the problem. Here we have it, right? So I am going to show you in the actual file. So let's, let's go to Power BI instead. So here is the table that he was referring to. So first of all, let's go back and see what it was. We had a manufacturing table that had product IDs. And then we had a stock table that had more products ID than the manufacturing table, but both have duplicates. So you cannot relate this table to this one straight away. You need to create, there are other ways, but this is one way you, you can create a middle table where you have the unique keys in there. So when doing that, then we created this uh, table and the product name comes from the stock table. The total stock is just the sum. And then the total amount is just the sum of the amounts on the manufacturing table. So what this basically is telling us is that cyclocross and mountain bikes are things that we manufacture, but we have other things on the stock. And as you can see here, 47 plus 26 is definitely not 237. And he was asking me why, why is this happening? So first of all, let's see what this 237 is. If we put the product name from the manufacturing table and the total amount from the manufacturing table, that means that it's not filtered by anything, it's just as is, then we will see that the total amount of products is 237. But of those, we just have cyclocross and mountain bike in stock. So now we know that 237 is actually the complete amount of bikes that we have in manufacturing, okay? So the question here is, how is this possible? Well, measures are calculated or being calculated uh, individually for each cell, right? So to calculate this 47, what Power BI does is it goes, okay, cyclocross bikes, How? what is the total amount? And then it will give us 47, and then mountain bikes, total amount 26. So it's doing it row by row. Now, it is doing the same on the total. So it's not actually taking the total amount and adding up. It's just going into the total row and say, okay, I have a list of the, all the products and um, the total amount is 237. So basically the total amount is not being filtered the way that, I mean, the grand total is not being filtered the way that these are being filtered and the filter comes from our 
stock table, right? So because we only have in the stock table cyclocross and mountain bike, that is a filter that gets gets passed here. But on the total rows, we do have all. So you're just counting all, 237. So how do we solve this? I mean, of course, there is a way to fix it. And what we will do is to create a new measure. And we call it right total amount, for example. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to say if I'm not finished has one value stock table product name. Don't worry, we will translate this into English in a second. Then total amount uh, otherwise we want the sum x of the stock product name and then the total amount. Okay, so let's put it in here and see what happens. We don't need this anymore. So I wish they would always start with zero. Um, so here we have it. And now we're getting 73. So what is this measure really saying? So this is what it's saying. If the product name in the stock table has one value here, for example, cyclocross is just comes one, then do the total amount. So it will say, okay, how many bikes do you have in the cyclocross? It says 47. And then it will go to the next one, mountain bike. It's just one value, mountain bike. And then it will do the sum, right? Do the, to the sum for mountain bikes. And has one value, it means mountain bikes appear. It's the table that gets filtered, it says just mountain bike, nothing else. Now it comes to the total and then the total shows the entire product table, right? Or product name column. And that's exactly what we wanted to avoid. So if it has one value, which it doesn't, so this has multiple values, then it says, okay, then get those values and add, do the sum of them. So instead of sum in everything you were telling it, just get those values that are being filtered and do the sum and give us the results. Okay, so we are forcing the total column to take into account the filter that is being passed from the stock table. I, ho I really hope it makes sense. Um, it is an important concept to understand that totals are not like in Excel, just adding everything, it's, it's just doing the calculation by itself. And then sometimes you need to force the total row to, to actually understand that there is a filter that it has to respect. Okay. Okay, so thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, let me know by liking it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. And don't forget to fill in our Dax Friday survey. I still have it open, so just let me know what you think so we can improve this. Okay, have a great evening. Bye bye.